2022 recognition of athletic state award recipients. Dr. Burns. Thank you, Ms. Klein. Uh, welcome again. For those of you that are still here and those of you who had, that were waiting outside, thank you for your patience. Um, as we said earlier, we have a kind of a good, bad problem, um, and that is we got too many uh, things to recognize and not enough seats for all of you here to witness that, so we had to do it in shifts. So thank you for your patience in uh, indulging that uh, little bit of uh, management of changing crowds, so to speak. Um, I guess it's kind of like, you know, halftime if you don't have a ticket, they usher you out and then you got to come back in with a ticket, but uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. So we're glad you're here, and at this time I want to turn it over to um, uh, our athletic director, Renee Putter, and she's going to do the honors of recognize our outstanding athletes in CFB. Coach Putter. Thank you, Dr. Burns. Ms. Chafin, Board of Trustees, Dr. Burns, Mr. Hyatt, uh, we'd like to honor our Allstate recognitions tonight with our Allstate athletes. We're going to start with R.L. Turner High School first, and our athletic coordinator and head football coach is Tyrone Larkins, and a principal, Georgian Warnock, if she's here, we'd like her to come up. <laughs> and parents, as I call off your student's name, uh, if you please would stand. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing, fellas? Representing our all-state athletes from football is Avery Alege. Parent Carrie Mae Burrell. He received first team Associated Press Sports Writers All State Football, second team Texas High School Coaches Association All State Football. <laughs> Paul Mata, his parents could not be here tonight, but he is. Uh, represented by, for the Mata family, is Nancy Watton. <laughs> and Paul has uh, honorable mention of the Texas High School Coach Association All Academic State Football, which is a tremendous honor. <laughs> Absent tonight, is Jonathan Wilson, second team, all academic, all state football from Texas High School Coaches Association. Now for R.L. Turner Wrestling, head coach Robert Evans. He's joined with two of his all state athletes, and that is Nina Machado, parents Gary and Lisa Machado. Nina is UIL state wrestling meet fifth place in the 128 pound division and she's also the Texas State Champion in the freestyle wrestling. <laughs> Lastly we have Haley Garcia, parents Melvin and Rose Garcia. She is the UIL State Wrestling State Qualifier in the 138 pound division. This, these are the all state athletes from R.L. Turner. Continue on with our Newman Smith All State athletes. Athletic coordinator Paul Ressa, Principal Joe Pouncey, if they will join us. And I'm not sure if Mr. Pouncey could be here. He did have a prior commitment. Representing Newman Smith will be girls basketball, cross country, diving, football, golf, track and field, softball. And we will label them individually here momentarily when they all come in and join in the fun. <laughs> Let's 
that bad. Good. For girls basketball, head basketball coach Julie Lowry. Absent and not with us tonight is Morgan Ainsworth. She is Texas Girls Coach Association All Academic State. With us tonight is Pauline Fan, parents Heather and Michael Ainsworth, Texas Girls Coach Association All State Academic. Not with us is Hannon Holden, Texas Girls Co Coach Association Academic All State. This is your girls basketball. In cross country, head coach James Busby. His students are Justin Brewer, parent Cheryl Brewer, Texas High School Coach Association, academic all state second team. Kamar Daniel, parents Kima and Arthur Daniel, Texas High School Coach Association, all academic, all state honorable mention. That is our cross country. For our Newman Smith diving, our CFB dive coach, Eric Ognaby. And we have one diver, Reed Gilbreth, parent Scott Gilbreth. He's the UIL state finalist and the Tiska second team all state diver. <laughs> For football, head football coach Paul Ressa. Not here with us tonight is Danny Coons, Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All-State First Team. Thomas Vollmer, Texas High School Coaches All-State Second Team, cannot be with us tonight either. But here tonight is Braxton Bearden, parent Janet Bearden, Texas High School Coaches Association All-Academic All-State Honorable Mention. Alex Fogel, Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All-State Honorable Mention. He could not be with us tonight. Trey Pickney, parent Monica and Michael Living, Texas High School Coaches Association All-Academic All-State Honorable Mention. And Jaquiel Walker, Walker, parents Arsenia and Keith Johnson, Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All-State Honorable Mention, and Texas High School Coaches Association Second Team Linebacker. <laughs> For golf, we have head coach Patrick Horgan, and with him tonight is his one girl golfer, E.G. Kwan, her parents, Suhan and Kwan Lee, could not be with us tonight, but she is our UIL State Golf Finalist. Yeah. For track and field, we have head coaches for the boys and girls, Patrick Holliday and James Busby. We have Brent Wyatt. Parents, Sid and Susan Wyatt. He is the UIL state finalist in the shot put fourth place. <laughs> Not with us tonight is Courtney Okolo, which is our state champion in the 400 meter, the UIL bronze medalist in the 800 meter, and part of the state champion 1600 meter relay. Courtney is on her way to the Great Southwest Invitational in Albuquerque. The elite track athletes from the state of Texas are picked to join one team to represent Texas in this national invitational. So we commend her on her athletic achievements. <laughs> Kayla James. Parents Rick and Tanya James, UIL state champion, 1600 meter relay team. <laughs> Not
Maya James. Parents, Rick and Tanya James, UIL state champion, 1600 meter relay team. Adriana Delarue, parents David and Berta Delarue, UIL state champion, 1600 meter relay. <laughs> and not with us tonight is Morgan Williams, which is also the UIL state champion, 1600 meter relay. She was the alternate in case one of these girls went down. <laughs> For softball, head coach Rebecca Schroeder, she had two girls, which are <laughs> absent tonight. One is playing softball. One is playing softball, Alyssa Cousins. She is the Texas Girls Coaches Association Academic All-State. And the other one is Jenny Jackson, who is the Texas Girls Coaches Association Academic All-Stater as well. Congratulations. <laughs> represents Newman Smith's All-State Athletes. Congratulations again. Thank you, Newman Smith. Congratulations. Good job, guys. Good there. Good job, Good Next, we'll have the All-State Athletes from Creekview High School. Athletic Coordinator Jay Klein and Principal Joe LaPuma. Once the crowd kind of settles down, I guess they'll make their way through. Sort of in and out. What's up, Coach? I'm good. Hey, Bart. Good seeing you, bud. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> what a guy. I love your friends. <laughs> I'm not sure where our CFB dive coach Eric Ognaby went, but he needs to come back up here if someone could find him. He has two divers. First one is Sari Sinzer. Parents Troy and Pam Sinzer, UIL state finalists in girls diving, and Tiska, second team all state diver. Not with us tonight. <laughs> Michael Bennett, parents Ted Bennett and Barbara Vibert, UIL state finalists in girls dive, boys diving, and Tiska second team all state. <laughs> For swimming, we have head coach Bunker Hill. We have Brandon Kesey, parents Tony and Christy Kesey, UIL state finalists in the boys 200 freestyle relay and the Tiska second team all state swimmer. <laughs> Matt Sullivan, parents Kevin and Jill Sullivan, UIL state finalists in the boys 200 freestyle relay and the Tiska second team all state swimmer. Grant Whitehead, parents Mark and Angela Whitehead, UIL state finalists in the boys 200 freestyle relay and Tiska second team all state swimmer. <laughs> and to round out that 200 freestyle relay is Josh Lavatalo. Hopefully I did not butcher that too bad. Parents John and Marla Lavatalo, 
UIL state finalist in the Poise 200 Freestyle Relay and Tiska second team All-State swimmer. Next we have wrestling head coach Terry Wright. With him tonight, Isaac Salinas, parent Alejandra De Leon, UIL State Wrestling Tournament 125 pound division, first alternative, first alternate certificate. <laughs> Raymond Moreno, parent Rogelio Moreno, UIL State Wrestling Tournament 135 pound division, top 12 in the state. <laughs> Elijah Cook, no Elijah Cook. Elijah Cook is our UIL State Wrestling Tournament 140 pound division, top eight in the state. Is that Elijah? Come on, Come on in. <laughs> Here is Elijah Cook. <laughs> Michael Craigle. Parents, Mark and Terry Craigle. UIL State Wrestling Tournament, 160-pound division, top eight in the state. Congratulations to wrestling. For football, we have head coach Jay Klein. <laughs> now, not with us tonight is Jordan Funches, Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All State Honorable Mention. With us tonight, I'm going to butcher it, I'm sorry, Jan Seal? John So. See, I told you I'd do that. <laughs> is he here with us tonight? Texas High School Coaches Association Academic All-State Honorable Mention, Patrick Evenson, Texas High School Academic All-State Honorable Mention. That was our football. <laughs> For golf, head coach Carrie Gable. <laughs> we have April McCoy. Parents, Darren and Tony McCoy, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament fourth place team, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament medalist runner-up second place, and TAGC All-State Girls Golf Team. <laughs> Not with us tonight is Jennifer Park. She was the UIL State Girls Golf Tournament fourth place team, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament medalist third place tie, and TAGC All State Girls Golf Team. <laughs> Paige Nelson, parents David and Penny Nelson, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament fourth place team. Yeah. Anya Anders, not with us tonight, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament, fourth place team. Micah, Micah Easting, not with us tonight, UIL State Girls Golf Tournament, fourth place team. <laughs> On the boys' side, Connor Harness. Parents, Dave and Su Susan Harness, TAGC Academic All-State Boys Golf. <laughs> Austin Curley, parents Pat and Debbie Curley, TAGC Academic All-State Boys Golf. <laughs> that is your All-State Golf Athletes. We have track and field, head girls coach, track coach Misty Wells, <laughs> Melissa Gonzalez, 
is our all-state athlete in track from Creekview, parents Hector and Temple Gonzalez. She is the UIL state silver medalist second place in the girls 300 meter hurdles. Yeah. In baseball, head coach John Herrick. Not, not with us tonight is Ryan Swore. Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association, Academic All-State. Also not with us tonight is Hayden Smith, Texas High School Baseball Coaches Association, Academic All-State. <laughs> and representing our athletic training is Hamida Pajuani. Is that person here? No? Okay. That would be the TSATA, it's Texas SWATA, Academic All State Trainer. That is concludes <laughs> Creek Views All Acad All State Athletes. And more fellas. Lots of fellas. Huh? Bye. Uh, I'll see you at ACU. God, I know that guy from somewhere. Dang it. You know that guy? Yeah. You know, you know his name? Mm -hmm. His son looked just like him, though. He was a swimmer. Oh, his son was a swimmer? Mm hmm. State swimmer. He looks just like him. One, real one here. All like, like him. Yeah. We're at, we're at, uh, kind of scraping over there. Yeah. Attorneys have to sit there. <laughs> <laughs> Get they ain't like that. Okay. Last but not least, in our all-state recognitions is Ranch View High School. Our new athletic coordinator and head football coach, Terry Smith. Terry. Principal David Hicks. And we're here to honor our track and field athletes. There is an awesome athlete, a second girl, they're here. She's amazing. Head track coach, Stephanie Perkins. With her tonight is Chris Wimby, parent Tiffany McGee, UIL state finalist in the boys 400 run seventh place. <laughs> Michaela Williams, parent Denise Johnson, UIL state finalist in the girls triple jump fifth place. Kendall Cox, parents Lisa Schiller and Marcus Cox, UIL state finalists in the girls 300 meter hurdles, sixth place. <laughs> Antonisha Stewart, parent Shansharon Martin, UIL state finalists in the girls 100 meter hurdles, seventh place. Not with us tonight is Shanice Randall, who is the UIL state finalist in the girls' 100-meter hurdles, ninth place. These are your Ranch View All-State athletes. Coach Perry, I believe that's our recognitions, but then you're going to get ready for your presentation. But we're going to take that is correct. Klein. We're going to take a brief five-minute break to allow people that may want to leave to leave, and those that want to come back in to come back in. We're going to go to item two B after this. 
presentation on student achievement athletics by Coach Cutter. So five minute break, it's 8.40, we'll be back at 8.45. That is an outstanding presentation, Coach Cutter. Thank you very much. I was very proud. Uh, I know that you noticed and all of you out there know that many, many of those were academic All-State, um, which is, I think, the highest honor for an athlete is to not only be recognized for athleticism, but as well for his academic accomplishments. So um, we are very proud of those students. Uh, <coughs> we are going to now at this time have our annual um, report on our achievement in athletics by Coach Putter. So thank you for staying around. Thank you for being here, coaches and parents that are still here and friends and family. We appreciate your attendance here. But we thought you'd also like to see a kind of a summary of all the great things for this year in CFB athletics. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Coach Putter. Thank you, Dr. Burns. I apologize earlier. I did not know the gavel has changed. So uh, Ms. Klein, board president, Dr. Burns, board of trustees, Mr. Hyatt, I thank you tonight for the opportunity for us to give our annual athletic report. And before I begin, I would like to acknowledge all of our coaches that are here, our athletic staff, and um, everyone in the room, our high school athletic coordinators, if they'll stand. <laughs> our middle school athletic coordinators, if you'll stand. And all of our coaches that are here, please stand, because I really appreciate you being here and showing your support. Also, my athletic department staff, there's very few of us, but we, uh, we have all of these guys out here to help us as well, and that's Jana Weldon, Shelly Smith, Angela Taylor, and Roberta Porman. And last but not least, we couldn't do this without everyone's support of our building principals, our high school and our middle school principals. All right, we'll get on with the show. Last fall, I challenged our coaches to outdo what we did in the 09-10 school year. And I will tell you, I am proud to say we had a banner year. Tonight, you will see through our school district's own four main objectives, that it coincides with what athletics is all about. We're here to celebrate our achievements. You will notice throughout this PowerPoint that we had one school, Ranch View High School, that excelled in postseason playoffs in every single sport. We'll start off with our student achievement. We had 11 district champions. Ranch View Cross Country, Ranch View Volleyball, Creek View Boys and Girls Soccer, and Creek View Boys Swimming. We continue with Ranch View Boys and Girls Golf, Creek View Girls Golf, Ranch View Girls Track, which is a two-time repeat champion, district champion, Ranch View Softball, and Ranch View Baseball. In our middle schools, we competed against Richardson ISD, and we brought home some lovely hardware of district champs. We have Polk 7th grade football, Polk 7th and 8th grade boys basketball teams, Bush 8th grade boys basketball, Blaylack 7th and 8th grade girls basketball teams. Also, we had Blaylack 7th grade boys track, Polk 7th grade girls track, Field Boys Soccer, Polk Girls Soccer, which is also a two-time repeat champions, Blaylack Girls Track Team, and the Bush Boys 8th Grade Track Team. We had six bi-district playoff teams, which are Ranch View Football, Ranch View Girls Basketball, Newman Smith Girls Basketball, Creekview Softball, Creekview Volleyball, and Newman Smith Softball. We had six area finalists. We 
We had Ranch View Volleyball, Ranch View Boys Basketball, and Creek View Boys Soccer. <laughs> Ranch View so Softball, Ranch View Baseball, and Creek View Baseball. <laughs> we had one regional quarter finalist team that I know will go further next year, and that is our Arl Turner Boys Soccer. Four regional playoff teams, Newman Smith Football, Ranch View Girls Cross Country, Ranch View Boys Golf, and Ranch View Girls Golf. In the individual sport category, we had individual regional qualifiers. We had 173 regional athletes in 179 events. And I will put them, have you look at them up there, and I, for the sake of time, I will not read all of them. But you can see that all four high schools are represented by many regional athletes. We had 29 state qualifiers. We had one Creekview female diver, one Creekview male diver, one Newman Smith male diver, four Creekview male swimmers, one Newman Smith female diver, two Turner female wrestlers, three Creekview male wrestlers, one Creekview female track and field, one Newman Smith female track and field, one Creekview female golfer, one Creekview golf team, one Newman Smith female track and field, one Newman Smith male track and field, four Ranch View female track and field, one Ranch View male track and field. And of course, we have a state champion in an individual and a team. We had one of each. We had Newman Smith's 400 meter state champion, and we had Newman Smith's 1600 relay state champion. <laughs> we have some additional celebrations. We had 200 all district athletes named by other districts' coaches with 26 of them having the superlatives. We have 22 academic all-state athletes. We have Creek Views, Bobby Narrete, freestyle all-American female wrestler. We have Creek Views, Melissa Gonzalez, has one of the top two 300-meter hurdle times in the nation. We have Creek Views, David Garner, national merit commended scholar. We have Newman Smith Courtney Ocolo, who is the Gatorade Track and Field Female Athlete of the Year nominee for 2011. I'm sorry. And in 2011, she is named the Verizon Community Leader Award and the Dallas Morning News All Area Track and Field Team, besides all the other stuff we've named with her tonight. We have Arl Turner's Nina Machado, All American Female Wrestler and Texas State Wrestling Freestyle Champion. We have Arl Turner's Avery Alege, football first team, Associated Press, all state. We have two Arl Turner male soccer players named to the Dallas Morning News all area team. We have two CFB football players named to the Texas High School Coaches Association second team all state. We have seven CFB divers and swimmers named to the Tisca second team all state. And we have a former athlete from Creekview, Jeremy Beal, who is with the Denver Broncos. Those are worth celebrating. We have 207 scholarships offered with our athletes for $6,769,631.56. That 56 cents is important to have. <laughs> we have nine coaches of the year. And when I call off your name, I want you to stand. We have Bunker Hill. Creekview, Boys Swimming. <laughs> Stephanie Perkins, Ranch View, Track and Field, and Cross Country. She was two time through the year for Coach of the Year. Stacy Largent, Ranch View Baseball. <laughs> Barb Bennett, Ranch View Softball. <laughs> Carrie Gable, Creekview Golf District and Regional Coach of the Year. Marshall Houston, Arl Turner Boys Soccer. Hey, Eric Ogdeby, CFB Diving. Kevin Kelson, Ranch View Golf. 
and Brian Vettel, Creekview Girls Soccer. Congratulations, Coach of the Year. And then we had a very special award given out by the UIL and the state of Texas. This is a very top honor with our wrestling coach, Terry Wright, inducted into the Texas Wrestling Hall of Fame. Oh. Moving on to our other objective, objective number two for the district is our students are enhanced with their learning from our coaches. Our coaches have went to many clinics, as you can see, and have done book studies. So they have done a tremendous job outdoing themselves. With our next objective, we're always trying to find ways to be operationally effective. So we do this through fundraising and donations. As you can see on the screen, we've had lots of sponsors and, and donations, as well as many long hours fundraising. So we congratulate everybody on their efforts. Our last objective is what we are also most proud of. It's tying in our stakeholders, giving them the confidence in our school system. We do this by our athletes giving back. And when we ask our athletes to do community service, we don't hear any complaining. Uh, they all are, what can we do? Where can we go? Uh, we want to we wanna read to to elementary kids. We want to adopt a family. As you can see, as we scroll through uh, some of these slides, we, we have really outdone ourselves. Just to name a few, Creekview Cheer raised over $7,000 for the Suman, Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Newman Smith uh, Turner and Arl Turner Volleyball, they raised over $3,000 for that same foundation. It's not just high school, it's also a middle school. Blake like Middle School raised over $7,000 for Hoops for Hearts. That's just to name a few on that slide. As you can tell, we have a lot more. Newman Smith had over 12 community service projects going on as part of their athletes throughout the year. Turner Cheer raised $1,000 for the Susan G. Coleman. Creekview did a coach to cure for MD breast cancer. And I want you to know that the majority of our, our programs also took part in Casey's Run. And what every single program in our school district took part was, was the NFL Super Bowl Super Kids Super Sharing. Our kids donated over 7,250 items for the NFL charities which is outstanding. That deserves a round of applause. As I stated earlier, we had a banner year. We increased our student achievement, our knowledge, our effectiveness, and most of all, we gave back. We could not have done this and been successful without your support. We found a quote that sums it up. Together we stand, together we fall, together we're winners, and winners take all. We leave you tonight with a video clip of our Newman Smith 1600 meter relay and how they took it all and became champions. Again, on behalf of everyone and every hard working coach that I really appreciate and all of our athletes, we thank you for your support. Said now for the girls, 4x4, four 4A, four, in lane one, Arlington Seguin, in two, McKinney North, three, Kingwood Park, five, Leander Rouse, or four, Leander Rouse, five, Carrollton Smith, six, Keller Timber Creek, seven, Lancaster, eight, Beaumont Ozen, and a nine, Bronzeville Canyon. Carrollton Smith with the fastest seat time at 3.49, the only team under 3.50. Next closest time is 3.51. Yeah, and that number two seat is Lancaster, who finished second here last year with a 3.48. They have the conference for a record back in 2008 with a 3.40. You see them there in lane number seven, a little bit behind right now. And running well, 
Looks like it's lane number three, Kingwood Park, 353 they ran last week. So Kingwood Park. And, and in the green now, is that, that might be Carrollton Smith in lane five. Yeah, I think so, in the green there. <laughs> it is, Carrollton Smith leading the way. And yeah, Kingwood Park, pretty close. Lancaster has some ground to make up. You see them off to the left with the orange and the black. And it's gonna be Kingwood Park in front of Carlton Smith. And that is uh, Jackson who won the 800, I believe, not earlier today. Oh yeah, Zari Jackson from Kingwood Park in second. Let's see how close she can keep her team. It sounded like in second there, or excuse me, in third, Arlington Zagin, Lancaster trying to move up into third. I'm sorry, that was a 1600 meter she won. <laughs> oh yeah, Zari, yes, Zari Jackson, the 1600 meter champ earlier today. Doing a good job of trying to keep it close here. Carlton Smith. And here they come. Lancaster now faded, it looks like, to about fifth place. Oh, and they drop it. Lancaster drops the baton there. You see the frustration. So here's your first group. Looks like that's Seguin, possibly in third. Kingwood Park doing a good job of sticking with Carlton Smith. Oh, and Seguin steps on the rail. Almost goes down. Gosh, a lot of stuff going on here. And this third leg. And now a big move being made. In the third, <laughs> it sounds like that was not not sure not sure on that one. <laughs> Couldn't get a read. We'll get a hit here. That looks like it is Keller Timber Creek. <coughs> that just had a great move, and now wow, look at that! Wow, look at this move on the outside. Five teams all in this, and almost six. Oh. Oh, man. And that yeah. was Beaumont that was Ozen. to happen with so many teams right man, there. Man, Ozen with a great third leg, but now Carlton Smith Carol. back in it. Oh, Kingwood Park still just sitting right there, and they look really comfortable. I always wonder when the best time is to make a move. Sometimes I think this backstretch, people get excited and make it too early, but it's kind of a slow and controlled move right now. So watch out, Ar Arlington Zagin in third looks pretty good, T creeping up. Carlton Smith, 100 meters to go. Who's gonna get this one? Carlton, Carlton Smith and Kingwood Park. Here we go, it looks like Carlton Smith is gonna hold on to it and pull away a little bit from Kingwood Park and they're gonna be your champs, 349. Zagin hangs on for third. And again, we wanted to leave you with something exciting. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you, Coach Butter. Now, that was better than the Mavericks game. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sure we'll entertain any questions from the board members. No questions. Good job. I was just yeah. going to say, what an outstanding team we have with all y'all on it. The achievement of our students is very exciting, as Dr. Burns said, and it couldn't be done without y'all's dedication and passion and the work you do with our students and the parents for their support also. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. At this okay. time, we're done with okay. item 2B. We're going to take a brief recess. Take a five minute recess and um, come back for the rest of the superintendent's report. Thank you.